Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Rare earths are called industrial vitamins and the mother of new materials and play an irreplaceable role in modern science and technology and industry. From new energy vehicle batteries to military radars, from semiconductors to wind turbines, more than 90% of the world's high-tech industrial chains are inseparable from rare earths. As the heart of the global rare earth supply chain, China not only has the advantage of reserves, but also transforms this strategic resource into a precise weapon to deal with international games through technical barriers and industrial layout. China's rare earth reserves reach 44 million tons, accounting for 36.7% of the global total, far exceeding the United States 2%, 1.8 million tons, and Russia's 16.7%, 10 million tons. More importantly, China has formed a complete industrial chain from mining to high-end material applications. Taking the Bayan Obo mine in Inner Mongolia as an example, its rare earth reserves account for 83% of the country, supporting the global light rare earth market. On the technical level, the cascade extraction theory of Chinese scientist academician Xu Guangxian has completely changed the rare earth separation pattern, enabling China to produce a single rare earth product with a purity of 99.99%. The new extract ant technology developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences has increased the separation efficiency several times, while achieving zero wastewater discharge. These core technologies allow China to control 90% of the world's rare earth smelting patents, forming an insurmountable technological moat. Since 2019, China has gradually included rare earth smelting technology in the export control list and then imposed export restrictions on key materials such as gallium, germanium, and graphite. At the end of 2024, the Ministry of Commerce will further tighten the control of items such as tungsten, tellurium, and molybdenum, and even trace the responsibility of third-party transactions transferred to the United States. This series of measures directly hits the soft spot of the United States, 80% of its rare earths rely on imports from China, and key materials such as neodymium, iron boron permanent magnets, in the fields of military industry and electric vehicles, are almost entirely dependent on China's supply. The United States has tried to find alternatives, signing a 31 million ton rare earth agreement with Mongolia, but it was stranded due to lack of transportation channels and processing capacity, supporting Australia's Linus Corporation, but the company is on the verge of suspension due to its reliance on Chinese purification technology, and even trying to annex Greenland which is said to have 25% of the world's rare earth reserves, but failed due to geopolitical resistance. Even the recent breakdown of the US-Ukraine mineral agreement negotiations is directly related to the EU's competition for Ukraine's rare earth resources. These cases expose a cruel reality, even if you have a mine, Without China's separation technology and industrial chain support, rare earths can only be a pile of waste rock with soil. 70% of Japan's rare earth imports come from China, and the proportion in South Korea is as high as 90%. Although Europe is trying to develop new mines in Sweden and Norway, it will take at least 10 years to form production capacity. More importantly, China dominates the pricing power of rare earths. In 2024, the prices of praseodymium and neodymium will soar by 30% due to China's export controls, directly pushing up the production costs of Tesla Motors and Lockheed Martin missile guidance systems. 
The U.S. Department of Energy's assessment shows that if China completely cuts off supply, the U.S. military industry chain will face a three- to five-year paralysis period. This dependence stems from China's decades of deep cultivation in the industry. Taking neodymium iron bore and permanent magnets, as an example, China's production accounts for 90% of the world's total. Each Tesla Model 3 requires 2 kilograms of rare earth permanent magnet materials, while the U.S. domestic production capacity is only one twentieth of China's. Even though the Biden administration previously invested $1.5 billion to rebuild the rare earth industry chain, the lack of skilled workers and mature technical systems has prevented U.S. factories from achieving large-scale production. China is not blindly wielding the rare earth stick. In the past, extensive mining led to serious environmental problems in Inner Mongolia, Jiangxi and other places, and 2,000 tons of tailings were produced for every ton of rare earth oxide extracted. Now, through electric drive mining technology, China has reduced the use of leaching agents by 80%, reduced ammonia nitrogen emissions by 95%, and increased the recovery rate to more than 95%. This technological iteration not only ensures resource sustainability, but also strengthens the voice of environmental protection standards. China is pushing for the implementation of the Rare Earth Management Regulations, shifting from resource protection to full industrial chain control, while the United States and Europe are accelerating the Rare Earth Club and trying to build a supply chain that excludes China. But as the Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry report said, in the foreseeable 10 years, no country can replicate China's rare earth ecosystem. This competition is not only a competition for resources, but also a comprehensive competition of technical standards, industrial collaboration, and ecological governance capabilities. When Trump was tossing and turning over Greenland rare earths, and when European car companies were worried about permanent magnet inventory, China had quietly upgraded rare earths from trade chips to strategic leverage. This war without gunpowder reveals a hard truth. Core technology cannot be bought, and industrial ecology cannot be rushed. The end of the rare earth game may have been destined as early as 20 years ago when Chinese scientists conquered the extraction technology.